I want to talk to you today about the sales or standard American living practices and what's happening in America right now and what's going on with our kids. So let's start with the sales. Standard American living practices right now, if you are going with the flow in your parenting and whatever um, the current trends are or parenting and just going with the flow, the first thing you should know is that is going to, based on the statistics, have a very detrimental effect to your kids. We have to do something differently than we have currently been doing it if we want to see our kids grow up happy, healthy, um, with their mental capacities in check and well-being and physical health. Um, we need to move past those standard American living practices. And I often equate it to the climate crisis. We have seen, all, most of us have seen the picture of the polar bear floating out on the ice flow um, as the ice melts. And we keep saying this is such a climate crisis. And we're facing the same thing with our kids today when we look at the, st the statistics. We just cannot afford anymore to continue to practice parenting and raising kids the way we have been because we're doing them a disservice. So according to the research, our kids are not okay. The suicide rates are skyrocketing. We're seeing more and more instances of bullying. We're seeing gun violence on television and in our schools all the time. Um, and most of our mental health disorders have an onset before the age of 24. And we're seeing an increase in mental health disorders amongst kids as well. And just so I'm gonna go on to the next slide where we're gonna see sort of what it looks like in a classroom. But just so you know, those are some of the spots on the left-hand side where all my research is from. Okay, so stress and anxiety has gone up 70%, 70, 70% 70 in kids from 2006 to 2016. And that is having a tremendous impact on our children. Um, and if you look at this little yellow square, I like to, when I go around and give speeches, this is my classroom carpet square. So if you think about those little kids on the carpet right there, um, and statistically where we are going to end up, you notice that everybody is a color. And statistically speaking, this is a classroom. However, it's real life too. As I go throughout the United States and talk to schools and teachers, teachers are saying, this is my classroom. You are correct. Some teachers are saying, oh my gosh, my classroom, actually some of those kids have two to three um, colors that they could be. So even if your child maybe doesn't skate by and doesn't have one of these, um, they are going to spend their school career sitting on a carpet amongst children that do have these. So we have to do something about this. So in a classroom of 20 kids, as they, uh, statistically speaking, one of them will commit suicide. Two of them are victims of abuse or neglect. Two of them will go to drug or substance abuse. And as you know, we have a huge opioid crisis right now. Um, you will see one, two, three, four will have a mental health issue. Three of them will be bullied at school or online. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of the classroom will be obese. And obesity is not only a health concern, it's also sh it also shrinks the gray matter in your brain. So it's also a major learning concern as well. And then two of those kiddos on the carpet will have thoughts of suicide and self-harm. And I have to tell you, when I discovered those statistics, um, all I kept thinking was, oh my gosh, if I have three kids, that's three different classrooms, which circle is would my kid be? And I don't want my kid to be any of those circles. And I don't want my kid to sit in a classroom with children that are those statistics as well. I want all of our children to be healthy and have great mental and physical well-being. So we need to do something a little differently. And that's where the Root Family and Grow Strong Roots comes in. So what's causing all of this? Um, truly, it is disconnection. It is disconnection from self. It is disconnection from others. That is the, the root of what is going on. And we have so many different contributing factors, but when they all, when you boil them all down, it all comes down to disconnection. So the Rooted Family and the Grow Strong Roots is here to help reconnect. And how do we do that? 
We do it through social emotional connections. So we boost those social emotional connections. We increase our mindful self awareness. When you increase your mindful self awareness, you also increase your ability to be empathetic and to be mindfully aware of others. And then we sort of do that awesome brain boosting and we brain boost mental and physical well-being with the research practices that wire our brains for mental well-being and success. So stay with me. This is so important. I'm so glad you joined me because this is too important to ignore. We cannot continue to float down the same river and have children that are growing up to have all these major issues and problems and concerns. We want happy, healthy, well-adjusted kids.